Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV. And we are going to be working on the final, or not final, but the level 50 quest for culinary. It's the final one that I can do. And look, we finally got some boots. So, Revenge of the Chef Spade. Langdeth needs you to prepare a banquet fit for a Sultanarian. Ooh, look at that big old pan we're going to get. Let's accept. Thank the gods, you're your tick man. The admiral's dude received the Solon of Oldar. And the Bismarck's been called on to handle the welcome feast. But that ain't the act of it. Sultan specifically requested that your cooking be served. Seeing word of your talents reach E Majesty's ears. And not would do, she must sample your culinary creations. Now, that's all well and good, but there's bleeding a lot at stake here. Pleasing the Sultan would win you more claim than aught else you could do. But if he was to burger it up, well, I'd rather not dwell on it. Right now, all we know is she's keen to dine on Samat Tasty. But if you want to guarantee your royal client satisfaction, you need to learn what she's hankering for. As always, you can count on the help of your guildmates. For starters, you do well to consult Divine Dove, woman's from Oda, and you knows and might be as she can offer some insight into the Solomon's preferences. Off you go now, and good luck. All right, Diving Dove, what you got for me? In Odo, commoners like myself seldom get the chance to see the Sullen in the flesh. It is a great honor being called upon to prepare her grace's meal, but I warn you to proceed with caution. I'm sure you will recall Lord Lorento, your erstwhile patron, while a troubling rumor circulating to the effect that he arranged this royal visit. As a member of the syndicate, it is entirely within his power to do so. And if the whisperings can be believed, Laurenti's sole purpose for bringing the Solanari to the Melosa is to humiliate you, Tickman, and by extension, the Bismarck. Whatever his reasons, it would seem he is still intent on proving our creations wanting. So as to preserve our good name, I would be it would be to your benefit to do as the good master suggested and learn all you can of Sultan's tastes. For this, I recommend you consult Natasha. Knowing her, she already begun looking into the matter. The bookkeeper. All right, bookkeeper. I've been expecting you, Tick Man. I may be more bookkeeper than chef, but I am no less a member of the business. As such, I mean to do all of my power to see that you succeed in pleasing the Sultania. Lord Loretto has gone to great lengths to prevent us from discovering the Sultan's preference. But discover them we shall. At any given time, there are a great many Odins visiting the Melosa, be it for business or leisure. I suggest you begin by learning all you can from them. You might also want to speak with Rubut Ebkar, a former colleague of mine at Medieval Skate. As a customer, customs officer, she has an overview of exports to Huda. I realize that this may be a stretch, but we cannot have too many hits. Oh gosh, I got lots of people to talk to. So let's get to talking. Start right here with Kokoromia. You would know about Sultania. Her grace is possessed of a good heart. That much is plain. If you ask my opinion, she's rather young to be ruler. Oh, her preference is at table. In that case, I know for a fact that she is partial to crowned pie. I, I once went to a pastries to buy one, only to be informed that her grace had bought out the entire shop. Interesting. Do I have a pie on me? I do not have a pie. All right, where's the next person at? Way over here, okay. 
Let's get to moving. Oh, I'm walking in the rain. Hopefully these dishes don't get uh, soaked. Gigwazu, how are you? Why, yes, I do happen to come from Oda. Is this something you require? Huh, you wish to know what the Satania likes to eat? Or, I scarce qualify to judge as things, but I do recall this one time I went to the markets. There was a vendor crying his stock of meats. And if the fellow is to be believed, his beef was bound for the royal kitchens to be used to make beef stew for her grace. I hope that helps. I guess that does. Let's get to the lower decks and check out who is next. Bam. Come on, lower decks. Oh, uh, third class. There we go. Let's see, it looks like they're this way. They are. Oh, Rose. What a pretty name. What is it something is like to eat, you ask? I cannot claim fish chart first hand knowledge. <laughs> oh, but seven moons ago there was an article in the Mithrai. Her grace was on a royal visit to Gordania, where she reportedly fell in love with a local dish. Something called Trapper's Quench, if memory serves. Ooh, Trapper's Quench. Do I got that? Beef stew? I do have it. Alright. So I got two out of the three things that they mentioned. Still no pie, though, but it's okay. We don't need no pie. We do need to sprint, though. Get up here a little quicker. And in we go. Bam. Ruruth Epcon. Ah, you must be from Bismarck. Athena sent word that you might be along to learn what men of Christine, the Sultania, enjoys. While I do not have plain answers for you, I can tell you that Elle's tale suddenly vanished from Limousia Market right before her grace arrived. Some of the investigation work revealed that the tales were snapped up by the East Audon Trading Company, which is chaired by none other than Lord Lorenzo. Somehow doubt that this is a simple coincidence. After all, when one thinks of Elf Tale, one can't help think of the infamous dish, Elf Steak. I would wager that Lord Lerner seeks to prevent you from making it, and all the more reason to prepare a plate, no? And the elf steak. Cool. So let's go ahead and report back. Well, we got all three except for the pie. I wonder if I'm going to be missing that. And I'm going to have to make a cut. Cut, cut. Alright, we gotta go way over there. I guess we could have used a stone. Go straight to the Culinary's Guild. But we are walking it out. Ooh, what's that red thing over here? Oh, another Phoenix down. Sweet. It's a one time use, but. It works. Alright, Latasha. It's good to see you return to command. Judging by your elated expression, I take it your investigation has borne fruit. Four potential fruits, you say. An elf steak, bowl of beef stew, serving of trapper's cash, and a browned pie. Hmm. Packing which one the Sutton has the greatest strength for is a quandary. So why not prepare all of them? This is to be a grand banquet, is it not? It would certainly not be taken amiss were you to present several dishes. 
If that's settled, best you get to work. Needless to say, all the dishes must be prepared to the high standard. Once they are ready, please deliver them to the banquet venture. Speak with uh, Xantha at Boa Call and he will grant you admittance. This is the moment of truth, Dick Man. Go do us proud. And. Let's see. I think I don't have it. I think I'm missing something. Alright, so let's head on down. We're going to have to do a sneaky peek here. Alright, so we got the elf steak, yes. Bowl of beef stew we got. Serving a chapter quench. And we just need a crowned pie. So let's go ahead and cheat a little bit. Let's take a look. Shepherd's crowned pie. Oh, that is expensive, but you know what? It's better than spending 30 minutes making it. Because I don't enjoy the grind of cooking. So, now that we have everything. Where did it go? I don't know. You're the Cornelian Tick Man Poker, and I'm informed that you'll be serving an elf steak, bowl of beef stew, serving a Trappist Quench, and a crowned pie for the Admiral's Banquet. My lord and ladies are beside themselves with anticipation. Pray do not keep them waiting. Over law. There we go. Did I have one somewhere else? No, I did not. All right. So I made this crown pie. I sure did. The guideline style pie decorated with golden crown and served with fish and guard fribrios. Bam. Trapper's quench, eggs, cheese, and chopped elf blended together and baked in a flaky crust. A favorite amongst Esgardian nobles. Elk, elk steak, a thick slab of crispy elf meat charred with a bristle black. Bam. And finally, a sumptuous stew made of slowly cooked buffalo meat in sour red wine for several hours until it falls off the bone. Doesn't that sound good? Ah, the dishes. Yes, everything appears to be in order. You may enter. Look at me looking the part. Except them goggles. Yuck. I do declare that was a most magnificent meal. My sole laminate is that I cannot eat another bite. What would I had the girth of a gobule? <laughs> it gladdens me to see your majesty is so well satisfied. Forsooth, never have I known such satisfaction at the table. You did not exaggerate when you told me that the culinary of surpassing skill was to be found in the Mendoza. You are the culinarian, are you not? Thanks to you, I tasted heaven. My gratitude is yours. Uh oh, he's mad. Grr. How could he possibly have known every one of Sultanian's favorite dishes? Instead of being humiliated, he'd end up winning her grace. Grace's adulation. Bye. 
Did you say something, Lord Loratio? Uh, no, nay, your majesty. I was merely admiring the cuisine. As you say. Now then, my dear culinarian, pray tell me your name. I would send to you a gift benefiting your services this day. Oh. Am I going to get that new pan? Huh. You were given to understand that I requested you by name. Forgive me, but there appears to be misunderstanding. I had entrusted their arrangements wholly to Lord Loratio. Oh, look, he's shocked. He's like, what? Huh? <laughs> Poor guy got called out. Alright, so this time instead of running all over the place, we're going straight to the Culinarian's Guild. And look, we almost hit level 52. Alright, Ethernet, Culinarian's Guild, bam. We're there. Still takes forever, though. Forever. Forever. Alright, guy. Langs it. I've heard all about it, Tick Man. You did it again. God bless you. To Abe the Solan herself, praise your cooking and a taste of Evan. Ellis, even I can't boast to such a feat. And the Admiral commends me for training such a fine culinarian. But I did no more teaching you what it means to be one make no mistake it was you what did all the work you surpassed even myself for fame tick man there ain't nothing that i could tell you what you don't already kin i'm prouder than i've got any right to be nay nay taint no modest accomplishment lad and from here, you'll go on to reach even greater eights in our craft. But whatever you end up, always remember me words. It's passion what makes a culinarian. Put your passion close to your art. Go and put smiles on faces of folk what you're cooking. You can be sure I keep striving to do the same. And bam, we're going to take them boots. Because we need some boots and we got a new pan. And that quest is complete. This concludes Clarion Quest for Final Fantasy XIV Realm of Thorn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed a main scenario quest for the dawn. Once you have done so, the next Clarion Quest will be available from LifeSaf. And I don't believe I've done it yet. And I'm not level 55, so... Let's just go ahead and take a look at our new boots. And our new pan. There's our old pan. And our new pan. Oh, look at them fancy boots. And that gigantic pan. Oh, it looks good. Looking good. So anyway. We went from 44 to 48. Awesome. So thanks for joining me. My name's Tig, and we'll be back another day with another quest. Till then, y'all take care.